PLTR Stock News, Kathy Wood is selling Nvidia stock to buy more Palantir stock. Hey there fellow investors and tech enthusiasts welcome back to another exciting episode of our YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of stock analysis, focusing on two articles that promise some exciting moves in the market. The first one grabs our attention with the headline, Kathy Wood's ARK Invest, Selling Nvidia, Betting Big on Two AI Gems in 2024. Kathy Wood is making bold moves, selling off Nvidia stock and placing her bets on Palantir Technologies, PLTR, and another mystery AI growth stock. Curious to find out what that mystery stock is? Stay tuned for the inside scoop. The second article is equally enticing, titled, Three No-Brainer Stocks Under $100, Unveiling Smart Investment Opportunities. Let's unravel the secrets of these affordable yet promising stocks together. One of the stocks in the spotlight is Palantir Technologies, but fear not, we'll delve into it in detail in the first article. Kathy Wood from ARK Invest, the rockstar investor, celebrity, and stock analyst, is at the center of our discussion. Managing a diverse range of stocks in her high-performing tech-focused ETFs, Kathy is on the hunt for disruptive technologies, particularly eyeing artificial intelligence stocks set to explode in value. Her ARK Innovation ETF has already surged by an impressive 73% year-to-date, outperforming both the S and AMP winking and tongue-poking Smiley 500 and the Nasdaq Composite. If you're part of the ARK Invest journey, you're already ahead in the stock market game, despite the bumps in their recent returns. Now, the plot thickens as Kathy Wood makes an unexpected move, selling off Nvidia stock. A surprising decision considering Nvidia's stellar performance, tripling in value throughout 2023. ARK believes Nvidia has peaked, prompting them to rebalance their portfolio by shedding about 33,900 shares since September. They've taken those profits and directed them toward investments in Palantir Technologies and the Trade Desk Our Focal Points in this article. As we delve into Palantir Technologies, currently trading at $17.17 per share, the stock is stirring up conflicting predictions. Bearish analysts foresee a potential drop to $5 within the next 12 months, while bullish five-star analysts are optimistic, predicting a surge up to $25. Buckle up for the ride as we unravel the intriguing moves in Kathy Wood's playbook, certainly, your perspective matters in this scenario, and the average price target hovers around $15. Personally, I see grabbing shares below this mark as an optimal buying opportunity, considering the consistent success of this stock's overall share price in recent months. Now, let's dive into the realm of Palantir Technologies, exploring what this company does and envisioning its future share price. Palantir Technologies stands as a major player in big data and analytics, catering to both commercial enterprises and government clients. Their core mission involves deciphering vast amounts of data to empower companies' management, enabling them to make well-informed, data-driven decisions. Venturing into the cutting edge of technology, Palantir is deeply entrenched in artificial intelligence, actively working to optimize machine learning models. Their prowess in this field recently earned them recognition as a leader in model ops and artificial intelligence and machine learning platforms by an independent research group. Surprisingly, various independent research groups have ranked Palantir above industry giants like Microsoft and Google, a testament to their exceptional standing. Considering these factors, Palantir emerges as a compelling investment opportunity, especially if acquired at an affordable share price. Adding to their appeal, a strategic shift in their go-to-market approach has propelled sales upward. Their artificial intelligence platform and interactive boot camps, where they educate companies and engineers on effective platform utilization, have resulted in a remarkable 34% increase in customer count, reaching 453 customers. This strategic move also contributed to a notable 17% revenue boost, reaching $558 million in the third quarter. Palantir is not just a stock, it's a powerhouse driving innovation and growth. It's crucial to note that Palantir has maintained profitability for the past four consecutive quarters, aligning with generally accepted accounting principles, GARP. This consistent profitability underscores the company's stability and resilience. Furthermore, this financial strength positions them as a potential candidate for inclusion in the S and AMP winking and tongue poking Smiley 500, a move that could trigger a substantial surge in their share price. Adding to the optimism, Ryan Taylor, 
Palantir's chief revenue officer, expressed confidence in the company's future potential. Quoting him, the potential market for AIP, Palantir's artificial intelligence platform, is massive. Morningstar analysts echoed this sentiment, emphasizing the colossal market opportunity for Palantir. Industry experts anticipate a remarkable 26% annual growth in sales and revenue over the next five years, making the current valuation, trading at 18.3 times their sales, seem reasonable. In my portfolio, Palantir holds a 3% share, and I'm eager to witness the company's evolution. For those considering adding Palantir to their investment mix, a modest initial allocation of no more than 5% is advisable. This cautious approach ensures a balanced and diversified portfolio. The strategic move by Cathy Wood of ARK Invest, transitioning from a stock powerhouse like NVIDIA to investing in companies like Palantir, adds an intriguing dynamic to the narrative. As we look ahead, it's exciting to anticipate the trajectory Palantir will carve for itself in the future. Now, shifting our focus to Trade Desk, TTD, currently priced at $71.96 per share, analysts present varying perspectives. Pessimistic views suggest a potential decline to $30 per share, while bullish analysts project a surge to $100 per share. The median price target of $76, representing a consensus among analysts, signals a generally positive sentiment. Despite the diverse opinions, a majority of analysts currently recommend buying this company, underscoring its potential in the market. This aligns logically as the current share price falls below the median estimate of approximately $76. Now, let's delve into what the Trade Desk brings to the table. Essentially, the Trade Desk empowers companies to efficiently manage their ad and marketing campaigns across various digital channels, providing vital data crucial for targeted marketing to specific demographics. Recognized by consultancy Quadrant Knowledge Solutions as the top ad tech platform in terms of both technological excellence and customer impact, the Trade Desk competes directly with heavyweights like Google and YouTube. Impressively, Morgan Stanley foresees the Trade Desk continuing to dominate, particularly in the retail sector. The company already collaborates with major U.S. retailers such as Walmart and Target, offering advertisers unparalleled measurement capabilities. This positions the Trade Desk as a market leader. The company has showcased robust performance, achieving a remarkable 25% compound annual growth rate CAGR, in revenue totaling around $493 million for the quarter. However, challenges loom on the horizon. While a Morningstar analyst suggests a 22% compound annual growth rate CAGR, over the next five years, this growth may not be sufficient to counterbalance the current valuation of approximately 20.7 times their sales. Ideally, a more attractive buying opportunity would emerge if the share price dips, aligning better with their growth metrics. Investors might consider waiting for such an opportunity, unless they're committed long-term investors ready to weather the storm until the company starts yielding significant gains for their portfolio. But that's not the end of the story, we've got two more compelling stocks to discuss, starting with PayPal, currently trading around $61.41. A juggernaut in the online payment services space, PayPal's potential is vast. Even on the most conservative side, analysts value the company at around $55 per share, while bullish predictions reach as high as $118. These price points make PayPal an intriguing investment option at its current trading value. The most enticing aspect for me is that this company, PayPal, is currently trading well below its average share price of $74, making it an absolute steal in the current market. It's worth noting that less than a year ago, this company was valued at more than double its current worth, making the present an opportune moment to invest at a discounted share price. The digital payments industry is thriving, with analysts projecting a market worth approximately $193.7 billion by 2028, and PayPal is poised to capture a significant share of this expansive market. Despite stiff competition from the likes of Apple Pay and other industry peers, PayPal remains a top player in the global online payment arena. What adds to the appeal is PayPal's forward price to earnings (PE) ratio standing at just over 11, making it notably inexpensive compared to benchmarks like the S and Amp winking and tongue poking Smiley 500. Personally, I've recently increased my holdings in PayPal, and you've likely noticed it being featured in many of my recent videos. I believe in keeping you updated on the movements within my own portfolio. 
Lastly, let's turn our attention to CRISPR Therapeutics, the smallest stock by market capitalization on this list, with a market cap just above $5 billion. Despite its size, this suggests significant growth potential in the future. Focused on gene editing and therapy, CRISPR stands out as a leader in this revolutionary technology. With a current share price of $62.60, analysts offer a diverse range of predictions, estimating values from $30 to $188 per share, with the mean price target hovering close to $84. CRISPR recently launched a gene therapy treatment for sickle cell disease, named Karsachevi, developed in collaboration with Vertex Pharmaceuticals. While CRISPR will receive a 40% share of the overall profits, it's important to note that the company is not currently profitable. However, the growth trajectory appears promising. As a long-term investor willing to take on the risks associated with this growth stock, seizing the opportunity while it remains affordable seems prudent. It's noteworthy that Kathy Wood of ARK Invest also appears to favor CRISPR, having added it to her portfolio over the past several years. Ultimately, investment decisions are in your hands, so always conduct thorough research on these companies. This brief update provides insight into the stocks I'm personally incorporating into my portfolio, but remember to practice proper risk management by avoiding overexposure to any single stock with a recommended initial portfolio allocation of no more than 5%. If you're keen on more content like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you for joining us in this video and we hope to see you in the next one. Happy investing!